In this video, we're going to look at Pareto efficiency and the exchange economy. Mark's marginal rate of substitution of apples for pears is given by the following, where P represents number of pears and A would represent the number of apples. Jake's marginal rate of substitution of apples for pears is given as follows, just pears divided by apples. Mark has four apples and two pears. Jake's endowment is two apples and eight pears. Is this allocation of apples and pears Pareto efficient? Pareto efficient means there is no way to make one consumer better off without hurting the other consumer. In other words, there are no potential trades between the consumers to make them both better off. So we want to see if this allocation here of apples and pears between Mark and Jake uh, is Pareto efficient. Pareto efficiency requires that the marginal rates of substitution are equal between the two consumers. Let's evaluate Mark's marginal rate of substitution. We said Mark has four apples and two pears, so I plug those values into Mark's MRS and we get a value of one. What does this mean? It means Mark is willing to give up one pear for one apple or is willing to give up one apple for one pear holding utility fixed or constant. Jake, evaluating his marginal rate of substitution at eight pears and two apples, we get an MRS of four. So Jake is willing to give up four pears for one apple or this implies he's willing to give up one apple for four pears again holding utility fixed or constant. So notice that the marginal rates of substitution are not equal here so uh, this is not a Pareto efficient outcome. There is uh, there are going to be trades here where one party can trade pairs for the other uh, person's apples and both parties would be made better off. So suggest a trade that makes both parties or consumers better off. So one thing I realize here is that Jake likes apples relatively more than Mark. Why? Because Jake is willing to sacrifice a lot more pears for one more apple. Notice for Jake, he's willing to give up four pears for one more apple. So he really likes apples because he's willing to make a big sacrifice in terms of forgoing pears for one more apple. Where Mark, he's only willing to give up one pear for one more apple. Okay, so Jake likes apples relatively more than Mark. So how about this trade? Jake trades three pairs to Mark for one of Mark's apples. Okay, so Jake trades three pairs to Mark for one of Mark's apples. Jake is better off. He only sacrifices three pairs for one more apple, not the four that he's willing to sacrifice. So for Jake, this is a good deal. He's sacrificing three pairs, not the four that he's willing to give up for one more apple. So Jake is better off. Mark is going to be better off too. He gives up one apple. Okay, what does he get back in return? He gets back three pairs, not just one pair. So Mark is going to be better off. So that would be just one example of a Pareto efficient uh, trade both parties are made better off. Let's do another example. Example two, uh, let's just say Mark's marginal rate of substitution is two, which means he's willing to give up two pairs for one apple, or willing to give up one apple for two pairs. Let's say Jake's marginal rate of substitution based on his initial endowment is one half. So Jake is willing to give up a half a pair for one apple, or is willing to give up one apple for a half a pair holding utility constant. Let's suggest a trade that would make both parties better off. In this example, Mark likes apples relatively more than Jake because Mark is willing to sacrifice a lot more pears for one more apple. So Mark is willing to sacrifice two pears for an apple, so must really like apples then, where Jake is only willing to sacrifice a half a pear for one more apple. So Mark likes apples relatively more than Jake. 
And so as a result, Mark trades one pair. He wants to maybe trade some pa uh, pairs away to get more apples. So let's say Mark trades one pair to Jake for one of Jake's apples. This will make both parties better off. Mark is better off. He gives up one pair, not, po not two pairs, to get an additional apple. Okay, over here we said Mark is willing to give up two pairs for an apple. With the trade terms, he only gives up one pair to get an apple. So Mark is better off. His utility will go up. Jake is going to be better off. He sacrifices one apple. What does he get back? He gets back one pair. Okay, not a half a pair. So we said Jake over here is willing to give up one apple for a half a pair, but based on these trading terms, uh, he gets up an apple and he gets a full pair in return. This will make Jake better off increasing his utility. So this would be one example, and there'd be many other examples we could do in this. There's just not one trade that would make them both better off, but this is just one of many. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you found this video useful.